Hi. I just ordered my. I have. Uh, I like a lot of pops, but three of my very favorites are California Dreamin'. It tastes like a dream sickle. You know those orange. Orange popsicle type things with ice cream in the middle with orange, orange flavored outside. I don't normally eat those, but I love the pop. So those dreamsicles in liquid form I love <laughs> in the form of pop. But anyway, that's a relatively new one to my pop palette, but I love it. And then... A traditional favorite and it was my grandma's favorite pop and it became one of my favorites for sentimental reasons because of my grandma plus it's a really good tasting pop I can see why it was her favorite it was always in her fridge when I would come to visit her and granddad's fridge in a two-liter container so that's why I know it was her favorite because it was always there so that and the picture of ice cold water in a plastic pineapple pitcher. Great memories at Grandma and Granddad's house. Well, anyway, the third one, and they messed up the order last time I did this. I hope they pay better attention because although I do like A and W root beer. I specifically order um, A&W root beer with aged vanilla when I, when I order. And I have to get them through um, Walmart.com. Well, I don't have to, but I can't drive or walk to go get them or anything. So I order online a lot. And where I get my groceries is Walmart because it's a one-stop shop. You can get groceries and um, other things there, like whatever I would need would be at Walmart to shop for. Anyway, and it can either be delivered to me or somebody can go pick it up for me. But the third pop is... Um, oh, I guess I said them all. Yeah, I did. So, California Dreamin', Royal Crown, RC for short, my grandma's favorite and mine, one of mine too, especially because of my grandma, but the taste is wonderful as well. And uh, A&W Root Beer, if they mess up, and if they don't mess up, well, it wouldn't be a mess up because I like A&W, like I said. But it would be a mess up as far as what I ordered and what I didn't order. But what I did order was A&W root beer with aged vanilla. Let's see if they get it right this time. I don't know why they... Um, I guess they can't have every pop on the shelf that people like. But I always seem to pick ones that have to be delivered in a box. And I don't know how come they can do that with pop because you know when you shake it when you open it, it it fountains out of the top a foamy fountain well anyway just make sure you stand by a sink or something or put your mouth over the opening right away and start slurping it in from the top until the front until the stuff that coming out uh, stops um, that process so and I used to love Kraft mac and cheese this is kind of off the subject but the last two ba two batches of uh, Kraft macaroni and cheese I don't know what it is they changed their recipe or they changed ownership and lost the original recipe or my taste buds are just getting old. I don't know, disappearing because <laughs> you don't get taste bud replacements. But 
what I taste now instead of the good old uh, Kraft mac and cheese with the powdered cheese, the neon orange. Well, they did change the recipe because they made it less orange, but that, I don't think that would affect the flavor too much. At least not making it. To me, it tastes like um, plastic. It never used to taste like plastic. But I, I don't know if it's just my taste buds or what. And they're disappearing. But no, other foods taste like that drastically changed from delicious to plastic. So I don't know what the zeal is. Zealio is. I know I don't have much to let you know about, but it's been a while since I um, uploaded, so wanted to say something to you and wish you a happy day. I'm glad that, um, don't forget, those who ha have to do this in their parts of the world or country. I don't know if it's just America that does it or if it's a, across in different places across the whole world. I don't know. But those of us in America, and there's places in America that don't do it either. I don't know why they get away with not having to do it. But it's daylight savings time coming up Sunday the 12th. So make sure you put your clocks ahead uh, Saturday night when you go to bed. So I hope you see this in time. And since I'm bringing up the 12th about... Uh, I'm gonna, well, although I love my great nephew and his birthday's the 12th, I don't want to get in the habit of wishing all my relatives and friends happy birthdays because I'm going to miss some. But since I did bring up daylight savings time, I'm, I'm darn well going to bring up my great nephew's birthday. And I think I have the right name. I'm pretty sure I do. I'll know better on Sunday if I do, and if I'm off by a few days, I'm sorry about that. But the sentiment's still the same. I love you still the same, even if I might have been off by a few days. I don't think so. I think I have it memorized. He's turning five, and he knows who he is, so I'm going to leave his name off. And again, I'm sorry to the people that I don't. I'm not going to say everybody's birthday of, of people that I know. And uh, so sorry about that. But because I brought up something as mundane as time change, I'm not going to leave my nephew's, my great nephew's birthday out. On the same day, you know, that's more important than the time change. So, not gonna pretend like I don't know that that, that birthday's happening, also. But first, really, <laughs> in family importance. So, anyway, take care, everyone, and enjoy the warmer weather coming. Boy, it's about time it, where I live, it stays cold. A big chunk of the year at least if not half at least five months where it's colder than I'd like it to be here but I have really fond memories here so it balances out in different ways so take care everybody and when I have something else to share with you or tell you or show you. I'll be back.